And we're back. This is Crossroads Comedy Project. I am one of your hosts, Josh Sarnum. I am joined with... I'm Eshalosh. And today we have a special guest uh, special guest comedian. Uh, Rob Wilflong is here with us. Fantastic <laughs> guy out of Ohio. Love him to death. Rob, say hi to everybody. <laughs> I'm out of string cheese. (laughs) 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 And get ready for a show that has all a bunch of stuff like that. Should be fantastic. We're coming to you live from Willie's Locally Known here in Lexington, Kentucky. And uh, we are preparing for our contest this evening, which uh, Rob is a contestant on the show. So it should be pretty fantastic. You're actually performing tonight? Yeah. You know what my biggest fear is? (laughs) What's that? Is that I'll be waiting in line to get into heaven, and they'll announce there's a clap off <laughs> <laughs> for me to advance, <laughs> and I've got an out of town guest spot. Yeah, see that could happen. <laughs> that could happen. St. Peter Jeez. could be like, you know, if you brought more people with you, you'd have a better shot. <laughs> You've met me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, like we do, uh, at least. Once a week, we, we record here from Willie's, uh, especially before contest night. Contests are uh, a lot of fun. We're doing a big one here at uh, Willie's Locally Known. I know I talk about it every week, but I'm going to plug it again. Why? Because it's my show and I could do that. Um, but Ish, you already advanced. You're in the finals. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I can tell. His, his energy level is ridiculously off the roof. That's why he's the best color man in podcast. That's what we're saying. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of ways of getting rid of Rob here. You're trying to get rid of him. You're worried, are you? Oh, just a little bit. He's been doing this a lot longer than I have. He sure has. He You're sure a finalist. Has. I'm a finalist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Rob, just so just as a reminder to you on how the uh, competition works is uh, tonight there's going to be, uh, right now we have 18 comedians that are going to come up. Everybody gets three minutes. Uh, the crowd and two judges will vote on it. Top three will advance. Um, it's... <laughs> It's always been my comedy dream to be number 15. <laughs> we'll see if we can make that That is incredibly you. random. <laughs> <laughs> that, it's it, not incredibly it's, random. It's, it's personal. <laughs> it's personal. It's personal. And, and I'm at the point right now where I don't even want to know why he wants to be 15. But <laughs> I don't think the show's long enough. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. I don't know. And Ish, you should be really excited. I did invite somebody on here that has a full head of hair. Um, you complained oh, when yes. Madison was here. But now we have the perfect trifecta. We really do. He actually has a lot more hair than I do, he, though. He has he has real hair. You have fake hair, and I have no hair. So this is I parted in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I love his lines, man. Kind of like my sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> is he supposed to make sense? <laughs> <laughs> that makes perfect sense to me. But then again, I'm a little loony. Um, oh, okay. Just make... roll with it, baby. Just roll with it. I guess. Ish, what did you do this past week? Anything interesting? Oh, did I do anything interesting? Interesting this weekend. I don't think are I did. Are you doing comedy anymore? Or is this like what are you doing? Well, I had my kids this weekend through ah, Sunday, so that that's comedy all by itself. That's that's, that's, that's a lot of comedy. Rob, what about you? You have a show this past? I weekend? have a question. <laughs> okay, you drink all that Red Bull and you say you never do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Why are you drinking the Red Bull? <laughs> so it gives me wings. <laughs> he said, he said, <laughs> he said, H got up to go fix the GoPro, which he forgot to start again. How did you notice? Because <laughs> you're a large mammal and you walk right in front of me. That's how I know it. <laughs> and you notice that the red light now is flashing. It is. It was not flashing before. I'm surprised it didn't make that little noise that it made at us. Oh, yeah. Facebook Live. Thank you. That's Facebook good. <laughs> oh, what about them? That's pretty cool. Uh, so you didn't have any shows this past? Did you have a show this past weekend? Yeah, we had. I had two of them. We did our uh, first real boobs show. It was tasteful. It was tasteful. Um, with me and Tony Cornbrock. you're going to be on one on Friday. That's true. You're going to be helping us out on Friday and work with us. Uh, Am I considered in, a boob for that show? In Somerset, Kentucky. You want to roll with it? Roll with it. Okay. All right. Mugbees. Right? We're swingers. <laughs> Where is Mugbees at? <laughs> Mugby's. Um, that's a very interesting story. Um, anyway, Mugby's is in Somerset, Kentucky. Okay. Um, he had a bar, Mugby's, in Florence, Kentucky, and he moved to Somerset. And I think, what was the name of the bar? I can't remember the name of the bar. Sully's. It was Sully's, Sully's. in uh, in Somerset. And we're going to go down. We're going to do two shows, one at 8, one at 10. Okay. And uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Oh, nice. Should be a lot of fun. And you were telling me outside, uh, 
excuse me, I just had to burp. You were telling me outside that uh, you, the last show you did at a uh, Moose Lodge had like 300 people in it. Yeah, pack. we did uh, Saturday night. I had uh, Chili Chalice and Salina Moose. Oh, the Salina okay. Moose, Salina, Ohio. And uh, it was, uh, it was, if you run shows at all, it was a dream. Oh, it yeah. was a dream. It was everything that, that I'd like to think I'd want in a show on my way to a show. So. Right. So it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was nice. It was I nice. Like, I like that. I like good, that. To be, good to be a part of something like that. Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's one of the things that's exciting about when you run shows. You get you get the place packed and everybody has a good time. Then you're kind of like, all right, yeah, doing something right. And then there's those times when there's like only two or three people <laughs> and one of them's the bartender. And <laughs> <laughs> and he's pouring his shots going, it, it'll, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. <laughs> and, and they're not laughing. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is pretty harsh. Uh, I, I've done, they mean mug you, and there's only two people. <laughs> yeah. I did a show uh, last Thursday at uh, Sound Bar. We had a lot of fun, the Word Up show. That was, that was a That's a great time. stage at Sound Bar. And then we had Joey Coco Diaz at Comedy of Broadway all weekend, and that was just phenomenal. Yeah. He, uh, talk about a really funny guy. I've had a lot of people rave about him. I mean, what? I went to the show, yeah. What, what a story, though. You know, the guy did an eight year stretch for kidnapping. Oh, I didn't know that. That's where he started comedy. He wow. started comedy in jail. I think that's pretty good. What a story. Um, Tim Allen did too, didn't he? Tim Allen, I thought it was drugs. I thought it was drugs with Tim well, Allen. Well, he was in jail. I think that's where he got his drugs. His act. <laughs> no, his, well, maybe. May, I don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that's where he put his act together. was yeah. in prison. I mean, you do have the time, right? Yeah, no doubt. You've got okay. nothing but time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. Um, I think they give you paper and pen if you ask. <laughs> they, they might. They might. you got to ask nicely, though. Uh, so, Rob, here's a fun question for you. Well, we, we always like to try and get to know our comics that are on, on the show with us. Uh, how did you get started doing comedy? Um, I would have to say cartoons, lack of guidance, counseling in high school, and uh, the bad si- decisions that followed. <laughs> lack of guidance counselors <laughs> so did you ride the short bus to school every day <laughs> <laughs> no they made my mom take me oh that makes more Those sense kids were mean <laughs> <laughs> so, i just couldn't blend in <laughs> so at this point uh how long have you been doing comedy uh we've been doing this for about seven years he says we Crazy. like there's two of them he's schizophrenic that proves it oh right no there. i think he, he does we have been doing this <laughs> well you know when he walked in i said i didn't recognize you not wearing one of your awkward shirts that he normally does well, right now we are not on speaking terms. <laughs> <laughs> so i'm always walking around going note to self <laughs> 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 That's awesome. So I'm sorry, I missed your answer because I was so distracted by the we. How, how long have you been doing comedy? <laughs> sorry. It's okay. It happens. It does. And I hope it continues to happen. What's uh, so how long have you been doing comedy now? Uh, I have been doing this for seven years. <laughs> 2010. Um, I've done it before that, but I really just don't count it. I uh, sure. I bought equipment and got nuts in 2010. Gotcha. Okay. I think that's hilarious. He went, I. I he specifically I made sure to say I. Because <laughs> we aren't on speaking terms. <laughs> um, and so, like, you, you're doing comedy shows like West Virginia, Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana. Indi- Indiana, right, yeah, right, right. Just, just um, big... What's really beautiful about doing that is that, you know, I, I love my wife. It's a problem. <laughs> and I get to go home. Yeah, no, and I mean. to tell you the truth, I get to work and, uh, and go home. So it's a pretty pretty good deal but that sounds like a pretty boring life there's a lot of hustle there's a lot of hustle i should be drinking red bull <laughs> you should be drinking more than red bull <laughs> but it makes me pee <laughs> you know what bothers me we're here in willie's locally known and this is a very very nice place um but i go to the restroom and as i pass the women's restroom it said phillies so i'm thinking <laughs> it's got to be studs right <laughs> Colts. Colts. Colts, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody dropped the ball on that yeah. one. <laughs> and every time I come to Lexington, I pass this sign that says Animal Disease Diagnostic Lab. Isn't that how the Umbrella Corporation got started? <laughs> Should you guys worry? Should I have come? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you gotta love this guy. 
Uh, so you said you've been married. How long have you been married now? Oh, I've been married for, uh, i got to get this right, six years. Six years. Six years. All right. Mm-hmm. You're still in rookie stage. Still in rookie stage. Well, there you go. There you, know, you go. Working on 17 <laughs> myself. So. Now i got the best wife in the world. Now, who would put up with me, huh? I don't know. I mean, I I wouldn't. We're having a moment. We're having a love. We're having a moment. We're having a moment. <laughs> so, Ish, what you got going on over there? You're over there typing on your phone, ignoring the podcast, which is really, frankly, I'm going to pour this beer on you. Really? Really? Oh, I'll pour the Red Bull Do on you. Do something. <laughs> no, actually, Say I, something. I just got a text from one of my friends from Did Louisville, you? and she was telling me that I have a goofy laugh, and apparently, my laugh is making her laugh. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yes. So you're competing without even trying to be competing. So, uh, Rob, I, I don't believe you. I think you were leveling up on Candy No, actually, Crush. she's. <laughs> I'm only texting her because she's actually a um, uh, a super hot Syrian girl. Bam. So well, we, I we, figure you know the the whole purpose, of the reason why uh, Ish and I started the show is because he's Palestinian and I'm a Jew. Yes. And on most of the, the world would say we can't be friends. Well, we are friends. And uh, our, our little jingle that we're having uh, this nice young lady work on for us is going to say something like, Pally and the Jew, you know, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> I check a backpack at him and then just take off running. He does. There he always has a backpack with him. Which it's, all, it's all about discretion. It's right. Well, see, what happens is I throw the backpack, then I distract him with change, and then he's in a glance, you know, he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> And there you go. It's fucked up, man. You know, you know, I love change. <laughs> he does love change. I love change. I, love, I, love, I swear. I love the jingle of it. So he can get Cheetos out of the vending machine. So, no, I, I can do that. I used to be able to do that with my arm, or I just rock it. To well, you're going to need change. Yeah, I, I, I like change. It's comforting. The little jingle. It's a soft melody. My mother used to put me to sleep every night with little little change in a person jingling above my head. And I would just like, oh, I love that sound. <laughs> love that sound. That's how you put the Jew baby to sleep. That's how they put this Jew baby to sleep. Either that or they feed him Twinkies. Eat a Twinkie. Get some change. I was in heaven. Don't what a you good think, life. But don't you think that sometimes you're just living your life as a cliche? Aren't that you, Jew loves change. I mean, seriously. Aren't you supposed to catch on fire at some point in time during this interview? Probably, but, I mean, change it up a little bit. You should get on a bowling league just to break the cycle. Yes. Or no, or do, or do something athletic. Because you're you go. than this. <laughs> athletic. Gee, I, I... Wait, hey, hang on a second. All right, so you're telling me I should do something athletic. Yes. Get out of your comfort zone. <laughs> but, but let's 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 just turn the, the spotlight back to Ish for a second. I was an athlete in high school. I played sports, buddy. Come on now. Really? Ish is an we athlete. We can't tell. What sports you play? You, do you see how early when I was setting up the equipment, he was like, oh, we're going to start picking on you, and you'll see you'll start pouting. And then I turned it on him. He can't handle it. <laughs> yeah. I was an athlete. You were an I athlete? Was, I was paid to stay in shape most of my life. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he was putting everything we'll together, and you were saying, hey, do I have time for a cigarette? Actually, I put everything together. I was the one that set this set up because he was sorry. too busy fingering himself I'm with sorry. this damn Facebook Live shit. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to give yeah, our audience. Are we on Facebook Live? Oh. We are. Oh, yeah. you should have your privileges we have revoked. Three. Look, we have three fans. I'm going to report no, you spam Look, when I get home. There's my friend Nora. She's watching. None. Just there's because I'm doing a watching. shout out to her. Hey, there's Nora. Nobody watching. Okay, nobody's watching. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I was seeing like myself. Fans. I'm on Facebook Live. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? Are you excited? Yes, the show act can be found on iTunes, Podbean, uh, YouTube, Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook. All so. right. And Josh's Grinder. In Tender. <laughs> I still don't know what Grinder is. <laughs> yeah, dude, don't don't play stupid. No, Josh. listen. When I was growing up, a Grinder was something you went and got got at a sub shot. You went to a that, sub that shop. That's You got a Grinder. That's so I don't know what you're talking about. Well, is you it know, that gay app that you're talking about? Oh, so you just happen to just guess that it was well, a gay app? It, actually, Jeremiah kind of gave me a heads up last week. So and I was wondering why you were trying to give me uh, like information on a gay site. Is that where you go? I mean, is that that was what it was? Really? We're going to go you there? Do, you do look a little pretty boyish. I'm just saying. Uh, you know. is he jealous of the hair? Any, any, you can Jealous browse. of the hair. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. Look, he knows that I've been doing comedy for like seven months. You've been doing it for seven years. He's not going to pick on you. Oh, no, I'll pick on him. Really? He hasn't given me a reason to. <laughs> you shouldn't have let him know your browsing habits. <laughs> My browsing habits? <laughs> That's a good one. I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, as I said, Ish and I are we're friends, and uh, it goes against all natures of law, but we have a lot of fun making fun of each other, and let's face it, there's plenty of room to make fun of both of us, so <laughs> we just have fun doing it. 
We like to bring other You've people. You've got in. a lot to work with. We have a lot to work I, with. Honestly, my Mondays at work are pretty long. I know that I get to come here, do this podcast, make fun of Josh. It just makes my life so much easier. I bet. And I usually bet. the guests we have is super freaked out, like, what the hell did I just sign up for? <laughs> They're ready to just get the hell out of here. And it's right. just, I love that. I love that facial expression. It is cool. It's cool. Because even Jeremiah, I know when he got here last week, he was all like last, nervous. Last week, though, he went home and was in the fetal position the rest of the night yeah. crying about what we did to him. Oh. She's still making fun of my plugs. They were, hurt. <laughs> they were hurtful. We uh, weren't hurtful. Why do you want to be hurtful? They're not hurtful. They're not hurtful. <laughs> but listen, uh, every day on the Willie Show, we always have our guests do a top ten list. And this week, we assigned a homework to our, our special guest and Ish and I. Which I still have not agreed to. Our top 10 TV or shows. Or completed. <laughs> he didn't even ask me for my permission. He just said, we're going to start having homework every Monday. That's, that's right. right. That's right. He's yeah. demanding as a producer. That's, that's how No, works. he's just being Jewy. That's what it does. So it's top 10 TV shows. And Ish, we're going to start with you like of we always do. What is your number 10? So my number 10, being the comedian I am, I went with the uh, Dave Chappelle show. The Dave Chappelle show. Yes. And why did you pick that? Because growing up, uh, Dave Chappelle was my idol. So you, you only was, grew up like 10 years ago? Yeah, I'm only 35. Sorry, Josh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> little guy. Little guy. All right. No, I mean, it's I fair. love Dave Chappelle. It's, hey, it's fair. Right? I like Dave Chappelle. He was, he was, there was a show I watched like clockwork. Right out of Dayton, Ohio. Yep, that's right. Yeah, they break him out of Dayton. That's right. And Rob, what's your number 10? Um... Dr. Phil. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Why'd you pick Dr. Phil? Because I got a joke. Okay. Oh, okay. Go for it. What does Dr. Phil and sex toy parties have in common? Oh, I'm afraid to ask. They're both a safe place to talk about hard things. Ah, oh, very, very good. Nice. Very good. I like that. Thank you. Bad. In my car a couple of days ago. Thank you. Okay. What were you doing in your car a couple of days ago? Um, I think I was going to one of those places before mentioned, but I can't really pinpoint it. Okay, well, we'll we'll move on then. I'm just glad to be here. Thank (laughs) God for shitty weed. That's all I'm saying. Oh, Lord. (laughs) All right, Josh, what you got for your top ten? My number ten is MacGyver. Oh, very good. I I love the show. Uh, Being a Jew, I I really appreciate a guy who can make stuff without having to buy it. So that's good. Still going with the Jew theme. (laughs) I I like that. Well, I'm not a Jew theme. I'm just saying. Very handy to have around. There you Very go. Very handy. That's like that's why I like watching football because I'm never going to play. <laughs> <laughs> Do you put things together? Do I? Yeah. Uh, I Are you a to. mechanic? I, I used to be very mechanically inclined. Now I just sling both. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. He's full of shit. You know how to fix anything. I just said I sling bull. Yeah, bull. I'm glad you're paying attention for once. Read you number nine. <laughs> I assembled a cabinet. <laughs> 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 That's great. All right. So my number nine was uh, Entourage. Entourage. Okay. Yes. Kind of a gay show, but you know. Yeah, great show. You know. I said gay show. Yes. Not Mark Wahlberg show. show. You know, bunch of celebrities out of Hollywood. Yeah, super gay. But why? Why on earth would you? Why, why does that make it not gay? You said Mark Wahlberg. So Mark you, Wahlberg. You like Mark Wahlberg. Hell yeah, I like Mark I Wahlberg. Like when you admit Mike your problem. Mark What's Wahlberg wrong with Mark Wahlberg? Nothing. It, listen, if you're gay, it's Marky okay. Mark. It's okay. Uh, did you just say Marky Mark? <laughs> the funky bunch. Get out. <laughs> Come on. Entourage. No, I mean, I, I've seen it a couple times. Sorry. I like when uh, Ronda Rousey was on there and kicked the shit out of that guy. That was. Awesome. Oh, yeah, Turtle. Yeah, that was I awesome. remember that. that yeah, good. it's great. You ever seen Entourage, Rob? Shit out of the turtle, man. Yeah. He's, he's, yeah. He said, uh, <laughs> if I can hang in the ring with you for a minute, uh, will you go out with me? Yeah, she you had to go on a date. She said, if you can hang with me for 30 seconds, I'll sleep with you. Or she said, I'd fuck you. Broke him in half. It broke him in half. Oh, oh, yeah, that wasn't even funny. As a lady, yeah. why would you even put yourself in for that? I wouldn't want to fuck with her. All right, what's your number nine? Okay, let's go with two broke girls. Okay. Okay. All right. But it bothers me because they own a horse. <laughs> And if you're that broke, maybe you should like sell it or eat it. <laughs> I I'm kind of with him on that. That's kind of really. It is kind of yeah, weird. Two broke girls. Two Th- broke. That's girls. that's that too new of a show. Has holes in it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. For it. Wait for it. <laughs> it's very nice. Very nice. All right, you're you're number nine. Uh, Happy days. Okay. Yeah, I grew up uh. with it. Uh, it was a great show growing up. Uh, so many spinoffs came off that. Uh, you know, we got Ron Howard in there, Henry Winkler, and. <coughs> Henry Winkler's a Jew. So, you know, it's 
pretty outstanding. Really? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> I did like that. I did like the show that, and, that and is, the theme music. That is a the good stop on the surf yeah. game. When I'm blowing through Nickelodeon, heck yeah, I stopped yeah. at Happy Days. I, I love Happy Days. And I don't care what era it's in, whether it's like the real 50s or when they like kind of faded away from the 50s and it kind of looked like 80s when it shouldn't have. <laughs> it, it did get weird. It did get it? weird. It, it did, did get weird. weird. Like but when Fred Flintstone brought in Kazoo. <laughs> right. Yeah, then it got With weird. With Harvey Corman's voice. Yeah, of all it's people, like, oh, right? now, that, now this is a little tough to swallow. Right? Yeah. <laughs> a little alien during prehistoric times. All right, what's your number eight? My number eight is Family Guy. Family Guy, okay. Yeah. Uh, Seth MacFarlane. Yes. Creation, classic That's show. Good. Family That's Guy good. Family Guy is a great show. Hey, That's I mean, you, Family Guy is one of those you can just sit and watch anytime. Yeah, and, and sober, and not sober, so laughs, and the little so baby's laugh. gay, so it goes right along with your, your the theme little baby, baby really Stewie. Don't no, no, no don't go there. He's totally gay. Is Stewie is gay? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I'll wait till you get to my number. What number? <laughs> Do you know are if you we stare on? at Josh long enough? Doesn't he kind of look like Peter? Peter. Yeah. Oh, uh, from Family Guy. A little bit. If yeah. I had glasses and hair, maybe. Do the little laugh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I gotta tell you, you're a couple I don't podcasts away from having them chin. Do, do you know what up. I really want to do one day, Rob? I, I want to go status. up to him and I want to just push him in the belly and let him see if he'll do the little laugh from the Pillsbury you know Doughboy. Stop setting up like you don't. You know, know he'll be like, right. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's perfect. <laughs> he acts like he didn't. Do and then he do rubs. <laughs> I like Not that. when he's looking. Not when he's like, I can't give him that much credit. <laughs> oh, all right, so family guy, what's your number eight? Okay, my number eight would because of all the gay talk, the old Batman. The oh, old Batman. Old Batman. Because he was gay. You think he was? Who he played was the old Batman? Mary, um, Adam West. Adam West. Yes. He, he was, was married to Lady. Oh, uh, he was. He was looking at the Catwoman, going, "You vile creature!" <laughs> while he was standing next to some kid in his underwear and a cape. <laughs> I rest my case. I, I, can't, I can't even argue. I can't argue. It's kind of hard to argue with that one. Yeah, I got to let that I would have been mad at myself when I was a kid, though. I love that. I, I love I Batman. I always like, because, you know, I grew up, you know, back in the 70s, and that was on TV. That was it. So Batman was, cool. was my deal. Yeah, Batman was it. So, All right, you're number seven. Uh, the Three Stooges. Oh, number okay. Eight. Number eight. Three Stooges. Yeah. Three Stooges. Love it. I, I grew up watching it with my dad, and uh, all three of them are Jewish. Yeah, I could yeah. tell. Hey, man. Very true. Yeah. Loved it. I love the idea of just smacking people for any reason. Keep fighting. <laughs> 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 they lasted a long time for hurting each other, didn't they? They did. They, they did. did. They, they did. Pull each other's ears that off. That was incredible. Hey, Mo. All right. You're, <laughs> you're number seven. You're weird, Josh. <laughs> God, you're weird. You'd want a stunt guy if we were one of them, though. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> So my number seven was uh, how I, how you met your mother. Really, you like that show? I love that show. I I'm young. I, I'm young. I like that show. All right, you're 35. You're not 25. All right, and I, I just I can't I can't get into. I tried so hard. You got to keep watching it. Neil Patrick Harris. I want to like body slam really bad. Well, he's gay in real life, but in the show, he plays like this super stud I, player dude. Why so. did you bring up the gay aspect? I wasn't even going to bring that up. See, it does keep coming up. It does keep it? coming up with your stuff. I think he has the hots for me. Do you, you want to talk about it? How does that make you feel? How does that make me feel? Right, so because I point out the obvious, <laughs> that means I have the hots for you. I don't know. This And this is why you're single. This is why. You is this why? You can't see signals to save it, your life. It's one of the reasons. <laughs> What's your number You seven? would know better than myself. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be better prepared for these podcasts from now on. <laughs> I remember going to our, all of our family uh, holiday dinners. Uh-huh. You had to start hitting, hitting them first before they did you. Because yeah. the one person that got hit bad first was going to take a beating all yeah. Oh, yeah. day Because it was like pig long. pile on the does that, does that happen on your family? Oh, it did, yeah. Oh, they love capping yeah. on you. Yeah. <laughs> You had to get good at it. Yeah, big time. <laughs> what, what's your number seven, bud? Uh, my number... I already did it. It's his enough turn now. Oh, you did do your number seven. Yeah, how you my mother. You made, your, you, you made fun of me. You made fun of me. You made fun of me. My number seven is Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> you, you already did Dr. Phil. Steve Wilkos. <laughs> oh, the spin-off, the bodyguard from... Because it makes me feel better about myself. Okay. Was yeah. it, what was he the bodyguard for... 
Uh, Jerry, Jerry Springer. Springer. Jerry Springer, Springer that's yeah. right. That's my number six. <laughs> You're an animal, Rob. Don't, don't spoil Just it. Just get me. Just don't spoil <laughs> it. He tried to put Dr. Phil on there twice. <laughs> I like Dr. Phil. Yeah, obviously. We found he, out. And sex toys. makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> because it's hard. Because it's hard. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh, you're up. Uh, my number seven is Three's Company. Okay. Yeah. Um, Suzanne Summers. Uh, Mr. Miss Furley. <laughs> Larry. I've never watched the show. I'm really? sorry. I'm too, uh, too well, old. Well, I mean, it's, it was a young. late 70s, early 80s show. But it was just it was just a lot of fun. <laughs> Mr. Roper. Mr. Roper. You are kind of telling your age, aren't I you? I am. I am. Hey, hey, you know what makes Cabbage Patch Barbie happy? Cucumber Ken. Dear God, did she really write that? <laughs> Nicole just wrote me, hey, Dad. She has issues. She has issues. Yeah, Nicole on Facebook just wrote to uh, Ish, hey, Dad. Uh, so for the, all our listeners, um, she is not my daughter. She's a deranged 23-year-old that keeps stalking me. Um, but the um, restraining order is going to go through very soon. I hope so. I yes. hope so. But role plays good. <laughs> no, she's a little insane. When she's not medicated, there's a lot of issues. So we, we won't go there, though. <laughs> All right, so what's your uh, number six? My number six is actually was MacGyver. MacGyver, All yeah, right. See, yeah, see, you no, would like that. I do. I, I, like I love MacGyver. It was, a, it was a great show. Yes. You know? um, I was a big fan of MacGyver. Yeah. No idea that he was a Jew, but still like MacGyver. Joe, he's not a Jew. Oh, I thought you said earlier he was a Jew. No, no, no. I said he makes things without spending money. And you I like still that. like it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you still like it? <laughs> he's like, I got to remove that. We'll number. give you another one if you want. <laughs> <laughs> still a good fan. All right, here number six. Jerry Springer. All right, we knew that was coming. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Because he makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> We're seeing a trend. <laughs> There's a trend for me. Uh, all right, so my number six is Hogan's Heroes. Okay. Uh, Bob Crane. You know, I just I like the idea of all these prisoners of war making things to help themselves without spending money. I really, really appreciated that. Kind of like MacGyver. Kind of like MacGyver. They uh-huh. made radios and tunnels and didn't spend a dime. It's interesting watching you two right now because I'm like the kind of TV you watch. It's very different from what you watch. Oh. So, All right, well, know. here's the thing. I never said I watched any of these things. I just said I liked it. <laughs> well, well, how would you not know? If, how would you not like it if you didn't watch it? I can read. You Jews can read? very educated. Very educated. That's not very athletic, question, but very considering educated. Considering we have five left. <laughs> 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 right? I'm, I'm very scared to find out the rest of his five. There's only so many spinoffs of Jerry Springer slash Dr. Phil, but we'll, we'll get there. I guess. Or what's your number five? My number five was The Office. The Office, good the show. Office. That was now, good the show. British version or the United States? The United States version. Have you ever watched the British version? I have watched the British version. I, yes. I think it's fine. I, I like the British version as well. Uh, I, th- I, I like I that like like dry it. humor. You know, yeah. I have a very dry humor type personality, so I yeah, like I it. Like it. I, I like both those shows. They're really good. Mm-hmm. Do you like The Office? I love The Office. It's one after the other. Good character sketches is yes. always good. Since oh, yeah. Taxi. Since Taxi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Since I Taxi. Totally yeah. Yeah. Almost, taxi. I think that was the uh, game script for, but I don't know that. I don't know that, but that's, that that's when they really started doing the character sketches the way they oh, did. Okay. Cool. So what's your number five? I really like wa- listening and watching Leah Remini pull the pants down on Scientology. <laughs> that is a good show. Lee Remini. I mean, if we all, if everybody okay. everywhere just had one person to hate, this would be a much better world. <laughs> I, I kind of agree with that. I have a couple people to hate, though, and my world's pretty good. And I know so. a couple people that are running for that person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have no idea what you're talking there about that show. You might, you might as well have been speaking French. I, it's okay. I didn't follow it either. So I've got it on Facebook Live, so I get to watch it. <laughs> what's what's these, really cool is I And I'll message you. you. Are you speaking English, Rob? think so are we in america <laughs> it's like of, tennis for me i'm just going back and forth yeah right <laughs> i'm out of string cheese <laughs> out of string cheese all right what's your number five my number five is the brady bunch oh, okay this guy i know they never mentioned his religion but he should have been a jew look at the size of the house this guy had with all those kids you know he was doing tax stuff i mean they said he was an architect but uh, i'm not buying it I mean, mom didn't work. He had a maid, huge house, six kids, seven if you count Oliver. 
Maybe he was slinging dope on the side. You don't know. That was brutal. No wonder he was never home. Never home. Never home. Anytime they had him, very seldom in the house, but he was always going to his car. Yeah. You know You know what's crazy? As conservative as my mom is, she almost named my oldest daughter Marsha because she loved the Brady Bunch so much. Wow. Which would have been insanely crazy. For your it would family, have, yeah. Because there's eight of us, right? Could you imagine seven of us with these, you know, traditional Arab names and then my oldest sister's what, name what is Marsha? What would your name have been? Would you have been like Peter or Bobby? I have no idea. I would be afraid to ask. But she loved the Brady Bunch so much. Line, though, right? Yeah, probably. I mean, if you're going all the way what with this What about the TV idea? show Eight's Enough? Eight's Enough? What is that? I never heard of that show. The Dick Van Patten TV show back back in the late 70s, early 80s. He had eight children, and that oh, okay. was called Eight is Enough. Yeah, I don't know what that is. We have an older demographic, don't we, Josh? We do. We do. We're going to get you home by the news. Keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What, what's your number four there, bud? My number four is Friends. Friends. Yes. Yeah. As a matter of fact, when I told my wife I was doing a top ten list of TV shows, first thing out of her mouth was Friends. Yeah. yeah, it was a good show. It was a good show. I really, I growing up, I watched a lot of uh, Seinfeld. Yeah, and then just started watching Friends. I just love Friends it, a lot it, better. It was on the same channel, right? Yeah, I like think one it came on so. after the other, or vice versa, something like that. I don't know. Spawned off a lot of great uh, actors and actresses, though. Um, yeah. What's your number four? My number four is. Marriage boot camp. <laughs> Marriage boot camp. Because <laughs> it makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> <laughs> me, and the wa- me and the wife watch it together. <laughs> now I got people commenting on my sugar free Red Bull that it's bad for me. <laughs> right. Marriage boot camp. I, uh, I would love to. Um, have my wife watch that as long as I don't have to be in the room. Because anytime there's like any type of shows like that, and my wife is there and she's like watching it, like, and the man does something extraordinary, she's always like looking at me. If I walk in on her watching the Lifetime channel, I get the hell out of there. Right, right. You understand. Because you're just going to take a moment to hate a man. That's yeah, all there is to You're going to catch a beating just one way or another. That means we're always wrong. So well, it's we true. Are. We are. And always. it's true. Yes. It's very true. We are always yes. wrong. Yes. Um, my number four is The Love Boat. Do you remember <laughs> that show? I've heard of it. Okay. Are we allowed to sing the theme? <laughs> we can do whatever we want, man. Go for it, man. <laughs> the Love Boat. <laughs> it's so 70s. I'm gay? <laughs> I'm gay? After that? <laughs> Gavin McLeod, the captain. Captain Steubing. He's the reason why I cut my hair. He's the reason why I don't have hair. He has no hair. Oh, is and that right? Was yeah, I always said that if like I was thinking Picard. <laughs> <laughs> no, Picard wasn't around until like, the late '80s. But like I always said, like if I end up getting like the Captain Steubing look, I'm just gonna shave it. So I can't grow hair right here. So there's no point in it. Get rid of it. But it was just a fun show. I just liked it. And I was I had a crush on the little was it uh, Vicky the the little stewardess. I don't remember the fucking show too much. <laughs> I, I've drank too much of Do you my life. fall in love with bartendresses? Sometimes. And people who wait on you at Waffle House? No, not at Waffle House. I prefer Denny's. They have upholstery. <laughs> you prefer Denny's? All right, what's your number three? <laughs> they have upholstery. <laughs> uh, so my, my number three is uh, Breaking Bad. Okay. Breaking Bad. Oh good yeah. Show. We uh we binge watched that. That was uh that was good, wasn't it? I actually There's nothing like it. There's yeah. just never anything. I never really caught up with it and then I took a trip to China um I was like three or four years ago and then I just watched a ton of it on the way there and on the way back and just loved it. Then caught up and then just started keeping up with that. I was hooked. Great move. A great yeah. show. You know? Considering the subject matter, it's tremendous that it was that good of a show. Yeah. How many people do you think actually Googled after that show how to make meth? And how many people do you actually think tried to do it because of that show? Probably a bunch. I would well, think. I suspect a couple people in my neighborhood, but I can't prove it. When I, uh, when I was working down in Orange <laughs> County in Florida, uh-huh. there actually was a couple that were brought in because they tried cooking meth in a damn hotel in Orlando. Oh, wow. Like the whole floor had to get evacuated. It's crazy. We had a lady when... Uh, she died in a house up the street and someone was thinking well maybe someone should have saw the signs because she was she real 
she used to mow her lawn at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> And she had this big ass Marmaduke dog that she chased around because it would get out of the yard at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so back on the back on the comments. Um, so on your Jerry Springer. Um, so Noor said uh, on an episode of Jerry Springer has been determined on a DNA test that Nicole is my um, daughter. So I'm not believing it. I'm not, I'm not believing, believing that it. either. I'm glad it's working. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure that it's not my, um, yeah, no, that's not happening. No, I've seen her, there's no even, no, there's not even well, she, resemblance. Well, she is 12 years younger than me. This and is Kentucky, and you are from it, so. I'm an Arab. You're still from Kentucky. I wear shoes. You're still from Kentucky. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. They're only suspicions. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, what's your number three? My number three is... <laughs> I really should have done my homework. I tell you what, I watch a lot of is Fred Flintstone. The Flintstones? Yeah. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I have a crush on Betty Betty Rubble. So why Betty over Wilma? She had that wild bone thing going on, <laughs> and she hung out with Barney and anybody that could date a man shorter than her. I, I did I hurt your feelings? <laughs> I would have hurt my feelings. I'm six foot two. Why would it hurt my feelings? But anyway, <laughs> I was all about the rubble. There all right. you go. All right. there you you'd go. like to get in trouble with rubble. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Can uh, we sing a theme? <laughs> no, I sung the last one. You sing this one. Oh, Lola Brigida. <laughs> your food, I dig it up. This is all before Thank you. Time. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> I can't drink enough of these rubble. I didn't bowls. see it coming. That was cool. <laughs> uh, my number three is MASH Okay Love that show uh, Forever watched, watched it from the beginning then Good show You're waiting for me to say something Jewy, aren't you? No Okay, fine There was actually something that came in my head I'll tell you after the, after the show though. That's what she said <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> what's your number two? My number two was Dexter Dexter, really? Dexter. Dexter You like stuff about serial killers Absolutely Okay Who's That's where I get actually um, half my uh, half my ideas from Dexter. Half your ideas. Yeah. Who, who's your favorite serial killer? I don't have a favorite serial killer. It's probably Jeffrey Dahmer. No, he used to eat people, didn't he? Yeah, but he liked men. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to invite you out to my boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming back. <laughs> yeah, you're not. <laughs> For sure. Don't go back. We'll be right away. All right. Uh, what's your number two there? My number two would have to be uh, 24. Oh, series okay. Series 24. That was a man soap opera. A lot of that, terrorism in there. Uh, let, me, let me ask you a question. You, well, never mind. No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't play any roles in there. Why couldn't Keeper Sutherland ever just talk? He was yelling in every damn scene, Get to the car! That's my cell phone! You only have 24 hours! I mean, he he's the only the one time. that knew what they were doing. But he, so he'd yell at everybody, constantly. That's because he felt that way, I'm sure. <laughs> That was the only part about that show that turned me off was the fact that he was always yelling, always. Like he went to the went to his car. I gotta get gas. I mean, it didn't matter. <laughs> didn't matter. You know? Sorry, I shot you. It's my job. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go really back in time for this next one. I love Lucy. Oh, that's that's not gay at all. <laughs> why, would, why would that be gay? Because they sleep in separate beds. They did, but that's what they always did in the fifties. That was that was a cultural thing. Or maybe they they probably had a bed, but they always slept in the guest room. <laughs> I'm not sure. Lucille Ball, you didn't think she was funny? No. You're lying. No, You're I'm lying. serious. I didn't think she was that funny. Just a little too white. We adored it. That's right. You <laughs> are a little too. Both of you are a little too white. So you can always tell when Ish gets sensitive. Then he starts just disagreeing with everybody, whatever they say. No, what's funny is I started looking around to see anyone here who's not white. But apparently, I'm the only one right. <laughs> in the whole restaurant. You are very brown for this place. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> look who you're sitting next to. You'd be all right. You know, when I first came to this place, first thing I do is I look for the exits. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Is that Ryan? Yeah, yeah, I turn on you. It's what do you do? It's because he's always counting down. Five, four. <laughs> you never Maybe know, it Rob. It looks like you have a detonator in your hand yes. all the time. All you the know time. What I mean? 
That's, 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 you can't even do that as a joke, you right? You can't even put no, your straw in a drink. A Somebody joke. told me I should take my backpack and like chuck it into the crowd. No, no, you no, did I didn't do that, and backpack. I said that would, that I would probably. Twice, I thought, oh, damn, that's just ish. <laughs> <laughs> a little concerned, weren't you, Rob? <laughs> I, I almost, I almost Let's wrecked my car. Up. <laughs> we, we've got our, we've got our number ones coming up here. Let's wrap this list up. All right, who's who's? Did you, you do two, your, two, number one. What was your two? My two was I Love Lucy. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you would have gone already. <laughs> so my number one all-time favorite show, and it's hands down, is The Sopranos. The Sopranos. Okay. Yeah, the Sopranos. The it was Sopranos. a good show. I mean, that it was. was just, I don't like the ending. The ending was brutal. Yeah, I didn't like the ending. Um, Did you ever watch the show? No. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's but worth, I got it's Netflix. Worth it's is worth, it worth binging. Worth binging. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. It's a good show. I know a lot of people watched it. It's like Sons of Anarchy. You ever watch that? I haven't seen Sons oh, of Anarchy, God, but yeah. I, I've been Change told I need, to wa- I need to watch I've that. Got, I, I've got The Walking Dead to look forward to. I actually yeah. watched that yesterday, so I'm not going to do spoiler alerts. How many? No, don't. Yesterday was a season premiere. Oh, okay. Of Walking yeah. Dead. I haven't watched, I watched it yet. yesterday. I've, never watched I, I've watched some, but my friends are like huge Walking Dead fans. They have yeah. like these watch parties Sunday night. Gotcha. So we'll watch Sunday Night Football, and then we'll they watch Walking Dead. There so. You. Now, what's your number one? My number one would be Big Bang Theory. Oh, that's a good, okay. good show. I could just, yeah, yeah. Kelly yeah. Colicchio. That almost made my top ten. I, uh, uh, yes. I got them hoarded on my DVRs when I have a, you know what I mean, a blank spot. Who's your favorite character out. on there? Of course, Sheldon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody says Sheldon. It's crazy. I, th- I, I, I think like the whole thing was well done. I like the and, Indian guy. I forgot his a- name. Amy Fair Fowler was incredible i bet she wasn't meant to last but that's mm-hmm. how kind of like don knots on andy griffith he wasn't yeah. supposed to be on the show but he just was so good and i gotta tell you yeah. that that chick that chick is an awesome actor yeah she is an awesome a blossom is awesome yeah blossom all right it's right she was blossom i forgot yeah. about that blossom. it was like nickelodeon time so just to let you guys know, my we've, top we've 10 hit list, some Nickelodeon tonight. We've hit some Nickelodeon. There you go. My, my top 10 list has to do with top 10 old shows that I used to watch when I was a kid. Oh, that's, okay. That's my top 10 list. So my number one, of course, is Leave It the Beaver. Mainly because I like Beaver. Anyway. Um, I have a question, though. Hey, shoot. <laughs> I mean, if you would call your, your son Beaver, what would you call your daughter? Right? I mean, it just. Dick? It. it <laughs> The show just didn't. How how are you married? Where where is where's that? Christina? At? Where is she? She's right there. Where's how did how did you marry this guy? Hey, oh look right. at her. She's got her. She's like grabbed her heart. Hey hey, hey. comment so I'm we know somebody's watching. She's this. actually talking to she's talking to her <laughs> she's mistress. To, no, she's actually talking to like her therapist right now. Yeah, I was. She's talk like to her he said too. again. Maybe no, you, about maybe, that, maybe you shouldn't keep going where's, with him. Hey hey. <laughs> Dad, where's Dad? Oh, he's out chasing Beaver again. I mean, just the the show just had such. That would explain a lot of why Josh is who he is right now. No, you couldn't explain anything. You couldn't, couldn't do it. So that was our top ten TV shows for whatever particular reason why we came up with them. Uh, fantastic list. Uh, good shows. Good shows. You probably need therapy uh, after looking at yours, but you know it's been suggested. It's been suggested. <laughs> I think you both need therapy. <laughs> I think Josh needs to talk a little bit, and we just need to just hold you. You need to hold me? Yes. There he goes again. That's, it's that gay stuff. I keep telling you. He wants to hold me now. Man, you heard him say it. Go on. Give me, give me a giggle, Josh. Hug. Give me a giggle. <laughs> there it is. There you go. Everything's good now. <laughs> so what do we got coming up? We got anything coming up? That's going to make coming me just up for run what? out and have a Shows. Marlboro. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, you got the – don't you have Life Brew coming up? All right, yeah, this week I've got, uh, well, aside from tonight, we have Life Brew on Wednesday. We've got Twisted Cork on Thursday. Who's headlining? Uh, Life Brew and Twisted Cork is both Leslie Battle. Oh, yeah. Both shows, so there you go. fantastic. And then Friday we're at Mugby's. Me and, uh, right, Somerset, Robert, Kentucky. Yep, Somerset. And there'll be two shows, one at 8, one at 10. Okay. And then the uh, real boobs. I would come, but nobody invited me. The so. real boob show. I did so. Well, nobody, nobody offered to put me on the show, though. Why? Am I not allowed to be on the show? I'm such a whiner. Why can't I be on the show? You're not funny enough. Anyway. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you're going to walk into Fair a enough. bar in Somerset, Kentucky with a backpack. Are you Do you know when last time me? I was in Somerset? <laughs> hey, Rob, last time I was in Somerset, I was at the Mellow Mushroom, right? And remember I told you, that's when the lady asked me if I'm a moose lamb. Yeah. And I said, what the hell is a moose, moose lamb? lamb? She goes, you know, like the religion. I go, oh, like a Muslim? She goes, yeah. I was like, no, no, say it again. It's, she goes, that's gonna moose cut, lamb. That's going to cut down on your toppings. <laughs> I really thought it was some sort of animal. I'm some, some kind of 
species. Moose lamb. A moose lamb. I love that. When you told me that story, I laughed so fucking hard. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, we are just about out of time here. We got to get ready for this uh, contest that are getting up. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed themselves on here. Uh, for Ishalash and Rob Wilfong, my name is Josh. And we'll see you guys next time. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Take care.